The Essays of Francis Bacon, of Parents and Children. The joys of parents are secret, and so are their griefs and fears. They cannot utter the one, nor will they not utter the other. Children sweeten labors, but they make misfortunes more bitter. They increase the cares of life, but they mitigate the remembrance of death. The perpetuity by generation is common to beasts, but memory, merit, and noble works are proper to men, and surely a man will see the noblest works and foundations have proceeded from childless men which have sought to express the images of their minds, where those of their bodies have failed. So the care of posterity is more in them that they have no posterity, that they are the first raisers of their houses, are most indulgent towards their children, beholding them as the continuance not only of their kind but of their work, and so both children and creatures. The difference in affection of parents towards their several children is many times unequal and sometimes unworthy, especially in the mother, as Solomon saith, a wise son rejoiceth the father, but an ungracious son shames the mother. A man shall see where there is a house full of children, one or two of the eldest respected, and the youngest made wantons, but in the middest, some that are, as it were, forgotten, who, many times, nevertheless prove the best. The illiberality of parents in allowance towards their children is a harmful error, makes them base, acquaints them with shifts, makes them sort with mean company, and makes them surfeit more, when they come to plenty. And therefore, the proof is best, when man keep their authority towards their children, but not their purse. Men have a foolish manner, both parents and schoolmasters and servants, in creating and breeding an emulation between brothers during childhood, which many times sorteth to discord, when they are men, and disturbeth families. The Italians make little difference between children and nephews, or near kinsfolks, but so they be of the lump, they care not, though they pass not through their own body. And to say truth in nature is much like a matter in so much, that we see a nephew sometimes resembleth an uncle or a kinsman, more than his own parent, as the blood happens. Let parents choose betimes, the vocations and courses they mean their children should take, for then they are most flexible, and let them not too much apply themselves to the disposition of their children, as thinking they will take best to that which they have most mind to. It is true that if the affection or aptness of the children be extraordinary, then it is good, not to cross it, but generally the precept is good. Optimum elige suae facile illud faciet consuetudo. Younger brothers are commonly fortunate, but seldom or never where the elder are disinherited.